So let's get started with Excel database formulae. This series of videos should allow you to work with databases effectively, get the analysis you need as quickly as possible. Let's get straight into the spreadsheet. As usual, the download file is available from the website to download. You'll find a link below this video. I recommend downloading the download file, working along with me. That's going to help you to develop the skills. So what have we got in the download file? You'll see we've got four sheets here. Let's focus on the first sheet first. So we've got a data sheet, and this is uh, a database. Database of information here. We've got people's names, their age, gender. So just some general information, typical data that you might find in a database. This data, of course, is uh, randomly generated and fictional. If you're interested in how to quickly generate random random data in Excel, check out our video on how to generate random data in Excel. So we've got our, our database here, and this is a typical database that you might need to work with. And you'll have questions in your head about the kind of analysis that you're trying to get uh, from the database. What else have we got in this file? We've got this key question sheet next, the second worksheet in the file. So on the key question sheet, we've got 10 key questions. So things you might want to know about the data, pieces of analysis that you might need. We're going to work through these questions one by one in this series, trying to answer these questions. Uh, think a little bit about each question. How many criteria does each question require? We're going to talk about what we mean by criteria in a second. And most importantly, what technique do we need? in order to answer this question. So hopefully you'll begin to develop a sense of the technique you need to answer a particular type of query. If you can start doing that, then you're well on the way to being able to use these database formulae uh, in real life. In the first video, we're gonna look at three simple formulae to get you started working with database formulae. We've got the count a formula, count if uh, formula, and the sum formula. Just these formulae are gonna allow you to answer a lot of those questions that you'll have about a particular database. The other worksheets in this file, we've got an analysis worksheet here, completely new worksheet. This is where we're gonna do the analysis. We're gonna build up the analysis as we go along. Finally, we've got a list sheet here. You don't need to worry too much about the list sheet. There's just some data here. Uh, these lists are feeding the drop down menus on the first sheet. So you don't need to worry too much about the list sheet. So let's get into it. Let's get started with our key questions. So what are the typical questions we might be asking? What are some of the queries we might have about a database? And what techniques will help us to get the analysis we need without having to do things like splitting up a database across sheets we saw in the introductory video? We want to avoid that as far as possible. So let's keep a single coherent database, and then let's skill up, let's learn the formulae we need to work with a database, get the analysis uh, that we need to get. So firstly, typical question, how many entries are there in a database? This is, um, you know, the first thing people will want to know, how big is, it, is the database? How many entries are there? So how would we go about getting this piece of information? Well, firstly, the simplest way is to go to your database and then select all of the data. We can do that using keyboard shortcuts on Windows, Control Shift, hold down Control and Shift, then just hit the down cursor, the down arrow key. That's gonna select all of the data. Then you can see in the bottom right hand corner, just outside of your screenshot on this video, uh, Excel will tell you how many entries are in the, in the selection. Now note that in this video series, we are assuming that we have continuous data we are assuming that there's no gaps in the database. If there's gaps in the database, that's something you'll have to bear in mind. But what formula can give us that information? We can select all the data to get that information. Well, let's look at the count A formula, the count A formula. The count A formula tells us how many cells in a particular range have data in them. So really useful for working with databases and for so many other things in Excel. If you look at our coding videos, our VBA videos, you would, you'll see that we use count A all the time, working with code as well, so super useful. So let's take our first question, gonna copy paste this, so just Control C and Control V. 
copy paste this onto the analysis sheet. This is the first question uh, we want to answer. Now, we don't want to type in the answer manually there. We want to use formulae to do the work for us. So let's get started with the count A formula. So equals, you, you'll see I'm not double clicking on the cell, uh, not double click on the cell to put a formula in. You can just hit the equals key. Excel is going to go into formula editing mode. So equals count A and open bracket. So Excel is now ready uh, to receive some information from us. We've got to tell Excel what range we want to look at and then Excel will tell us how many cells in that range uh, have data in. So at this point, we could click onto another sheet just outside of your screenshot. I could go down to the bottom, click onto the data sheet, but we're gonna to try to use uh, keyboard shortcuts wherever possible. It's a good idea to get used to using keyboard shortcuts. They're gonna really speed up how you're working with Excel. So if we hold down uh, Control and page down, you'll have a page down key on your keyboard. On my keyboard, I also have to hold down the function key. So I'm holding down the control key, the function key, and then page down or page up will allow us to switch sheets. So now using the keyboard shortcut, I'm on the data sheet. We can still see we're in formula editing mode here. So now I'm on the right sheet. I'm gonna use the keyboard again to find the area that we want to refer to for the count A formula. So I'm just using the cursor keys, up, down, left, right arrows. And I'm gonna use the first column and we can see in the formula ed editing bar at the top, Excel has recognized that we're pointing to cell B6. Then I want to select the whole column. Now again, you could do that manually with the mouse. Much better to use a keyboard shortcut. So if you're on a PC, hold down, control, shift, down cursor, and we can see, just bring it into your screenshot, we can see that uh, the whole database has been selected. Now we can just hit the enter key on the keyboard. We don't have to close the brackets. Excel will close the brackets automatically for us. Hit the enter key. We can see Excel has gone back to the page, the worksheet where we started the formula. And that's our form formula there, the count A formula, just to show how it's working. Let's go back to the database and just delete some data uh, from the first column. So just deleting Julia's name there. Uh, back to the uh, database sheet, we can see we've now got the value 249 here. Previously, we had 250 here. So that's all the formula is doing. It's looking at a range we've specified, telling us how many entries in that range uh, contain values. So as I said, we're assuming that we have data in each cell uh, in this series. Another consideration at this point is how would we account for the database getting bigger if we were adding entries to the bottom of the database here? We've already specified a range using the count A formula that is the size of the database. So entries below that would not be counted uh, in that formula, would not be counted in, in the subsequent workings if there were any. So that's something to think about, the size of the database. If your database is getting bigger, we need ways to manage that. That's uh, quite a complicated topic. We're gonna to deal with it in the last video in the series, how to manage uh, the size of the database, a database that's increasing in size. Anyway, back to the analysis sheet. So we've managed to answer question one, how many entries are in the database? Let's move on to, to question two now. How many females are there in the database? This is a bit more difficult. Again, we're counting something, but here we're specifying a criteria a criteria. Now, Excel's word for picking out a piece of information is criteria. So we've got lots of entries in the database. We're only interested in certain entries. You know, our questions will focus on particular, uh, you know, you might want a gender or somebody over or under a specific age. So we need specific pieces of, of information. Those specific pieces of information are in Excel language called a criteria. So here we are specifying a criteria. How many females are there in the database? So we're going to get into the count if, count if formula. If we have a single criteria, then the count if formula is probably going to be helpful for us. So again, I'm going to copy paste the question, question two, control C. Again, using the keyboard shortcuts to move between the sheets, control page up, control page down, onto the analysis sheet and control V. So just copied in the question there. 
How many females are there in the database? Count if formula is going to help us hit. So again, let's put the formula in, just hitting the equals key and count if this time, open brackets, and immediately we've got the prompts, the prompts from Excel. Excel is telling us what it needs in order to complete the formula. Now the count if formula, and we need two elements, we need the range to look at, and then the criteria. The criteria is where we specify the cells that we want counting. We don't want Excel to count all the cells, as with the count if formula, we're gonna specify a criteria, Excel will only count those cells. So potentially super useful for us when we're generating our analysis. So let's specify our range. So we're looking at gender here. So we're gonna go back to the top of the database. I just did control and up cursor, hold down control key, hit the up cursor, that took me to the top of the database. And now just gonna go down one row to the first row that has data in, control shift and down. And then I've selected the range. That's the range we want to include in the COUNTIF uh, formula. Just make sure you can see that in your screenshot there. So now, now we want to move on to the next component of the formula. So we're gonna hit the comma key here, and then we're gonna go back to, and I can tell Excel is ready for the next piece of information because it's highlighted criteria. Highlighted criteria, that means Excel is ready for the next piece of information. Again, the criteria in this case is just going to be an F. Now we could select a cell. Um, a cell might contain a piece of information that we want to use as the, as the criteria. We're going to do that in subsequent videos. In this case, I'm just going to put an F in, an F in speech marks. That means it's going to pick out the cells that contain the text F in. So I'm going to hit enter now, and we've got 108. There. So it's saying there's 108 females in the database. How might we validate that? How might we check that this formula is working properly? Well, one thing we could do is go to the database, select all of the data, and then sort it, and then count the females uh, that way. So to sort the data, we can go to data, sort, and then we're going to sort, um, Let's just go back to the top here. Just give me one second. There we go. Haven't quite selected the data properly there. So this looks good. And then data and sort. And in this case, we want to sort in terms of gender. Remember, gender is the criteria we're interested in. So we're going to sort by column. We're going to sort by column F in this case. And this means that we're going to have all of the females um, at the top of the database. So now we can hold down the shift key, hold down the shift key, move down the database. And we're just gonna select all of the Fs. How many females will we expect to see? We'd expect to see 108 females. I can see just outside of your screenshot in the bottom right hand corner of Excel, it's automatically counting how many females there are. It's telling me there's 108. So just by sorting the database there, we are able to validate the formula and that gives us confidence uh, in the analysis. So I'm gonna go Control Z now, unsorted the database. I'm gonna go back to the analysis sheet. So this is going pretty well. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the third key question. What's the total number of children uh, the people in the database have? So here we're looking at column uh, K, which contains the number of children. So we just want to know the total number of children in the database. So here, we're not counting cells, we're actually counting the numbers that are in the cells. We're performing an operation, if you like, on the data in the cells, adding up all of these numbers, and that's gonna give us the total children uh, for the whole database. Simple formula will help us here. Let's just copy paste the question again. Control C, con Control C rather, Control C and Control V to copy paste. And here we're gonna use the sum formula and we just want to add up, we're looking at column K. So again, using the keyboard here, control shift and down, and it's gone to the end, selected to the end of this column. Hit enter, and we've got sum there, the sum formula returning 262. So that's saying the total value of all of the children in the database added up is 262. So we can check that by going back uh, to the 
uh, data sheet, selecting this, uh, selecting this range manually, and then just outside of your screenshot, the bottom right hand corner of Excel, you'll see things added up. Th things are added up there and it says sum 262. So just by selecting the range, checking in the bottom right hand corner of Excel, I'm able to see uh, what that sum should be. So that's as far as we're gonna go in the first video. We've had a look at three different techniques and we've validated those techniques. We've tested um, by working things out in a different way. We've tested that those techniques are accurate. So that gives us some confidence uh, in the analysis we're getting. But we've had three fairly simple questions there. How many entries in a database? Uh, summing up all of the cells in one column of the database and then specifying a single criteria. We were saying how many females are there? in the database. So, so far, we're only talking about a single uh, criteria. Uh, in the next video, we're going to have a look at multiple uh, criteria. For example, questions like, what is the gender balance across the region? So there we're talking about gender and we're talking about region. So we're talking about two different criteria. Now, at this point, a lot of people feel tempted to kind of split up the database because they don't know how to work with multiple criteria with the right formulae, it really is fairly straightforward to get the analysis you need. So in the next video, we're gonna look at sum if, average if, and the count if formula. These formulae are gonna really help you working with database, really speed up the process of getting the analysis you need. See you in the next video.